Well, hi, this is Matt Wood. This is my Tuesday talk. Uh, today I wanted to uh, discuss the differences between the three primary jury-making tribes of the Southwest, the Navajo, the Hopi, and the Zuni tribes, and what are the distinguishing characteristics of each. Um, very simply, the Navajo tend to use larger stone settings. They like stones that have a lot of matrix like this, uh, open work, my dad used to like to say, uh, he likes to show, the Navajo like to show what mother nature puts into the stone. And so usually the stone is the star of Navajo jewelry. Whereas the Zuni tribe, they'll use the stone and they'll cut it up. And they like to show off their fine workmanship and stone cutting. So it either be in what we call needle point, where the stone is pointed on both ends, or petty point, where it's round stones. And they also cut up stones and make a mosaic inlay like this. And when it's uh, in between pieces of silver, we call that channel inlay. And so the inlay and the needle point is, uh, and the petty point is typical of the Zuni tribe. And then the third tribe, of course, the, the Navajo are in New Mexico and Arizona. The Zuni have a small pueblo in New Mexico. And in northern Arizona, there's a Hopi. And you'll see that we don't see any turquoise in this. This is what we call silver overlay. And silver overlay is achieved by cutting a sheet of silver into a pattern and overlaying that pattern sheet on top of a second piece of silver. And then they will darken the, the entire brace at black. They'll put liver of sulfur in there. And um, then they will buff off the top sheet again. And that's what's going to give you the relief. Hopi work tends to also have, in the black areas, fine little tooling. And uh, so when we look to say, is this is traditional uh, Hopi or not, we're going to look for the traditional tooling, and we're going to notice that it is two layers thick. It is not going to be a casted piece, which we see um, a lot being made today more quickly. It is kind of a faux uh, Hopi style. Uh, the Navajo are doing a lot of that, um, where they're actually casting a piece, and they're darkening areas uh, actually with primer paint and, and other black material. Um, to color that. So it's a, it's different, it'll be less valuable. So stick to the Hopi overlay that has the textured back and that is nicely cut out. And uh, remember that the Zuni like the delicate stonework and the Navajo like uh, to show off uh, the stone.